2022 Heisman Trophy winner. A lot of people think this is the most prestigious individual <laughs> honor in all of sports, all of sports. And the winner for 2022, Caleb Williams, Southern Cal. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, this is yours, sir. Thank you. See how it feels. Give it a lift, and then the podium is all yours. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> First, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you. Um, this is really awesome. <laughs> this is really awesome to be up here. So first off, I'd like to thank all the Heisman Trust, all the voters, the finalists that sit right here in front of me, CJ, Max, Stets. You guys are unbelievable competitors. And I, I, I'm so happy to be up here with y'all, um, knowing Stets from uh, when I went to Georgia on my visits. and. Him being my host, which is kind of kind of funny that I'm up here with him now. Um, but we've all been through this journey these past couple of days together, and I may be standing up here today, but y'all get to go to college football playoffs. <laughs> Guess you can't win them all. <laughs> to the men standing behind me, thank you for your passion for the game. Because kids like me that have dreams and goals of being up here um, and being the best started from watching you, you all. So thank you. Next, special shout out to my fellow Trojan, Matt. Cars, Mike, for always supporting me since I've made this journey across the country to USC. But to now be a part of this historic fraternity is truly an honor and something I would cherish for the rest of my life. While this may be an individual award, I certainly understand that nothing and absolutely nothing in this sport nor life is done alone. I would like to thank our athletic director, Mike Bone, and his wife, Kim, for being here today. <laughs> Mike, I appreciate you for always and always making us the best student athletes possible. My teammates and I greatly appreciate you and all you've done for USC. Big dog, Coach Riley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we committed to each other on two separate occasions, but with the same dream. As we say, and you've heard me say in the locker room, that could, there can never be a great book or a great story without some adversity in it. So since our OU days, 
We've been through a lot. And even the sudden change in Phil from Norman, Oklahoma to the University of Southern California, our dreams have not changed. They say either change your dreams or change your habits, and I damn sure weren't going to change my, my dreams. Glad you didn't change yours either. But we both know the job's not done. Mama Riley, Sloan, Stella, thank you, for, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your family. And not only that, allow him to coach me way more than he should, he should probably be at home. <laughs> I'd like to thank all my USC brothers. I know we didn't finish the way we wanted to, but the culture, bond that we form will last forever. As I said, we do still have some unfinished business. A special shout out to this group, this group that's here today, my offensive linemen. Stand up, you guys, wherever you are. who are all here to celebrate our accomplishment. This doesn't happen without each one of you. Bobby, Cortland, Voorhees, Gino, Brett, Dee Dee, Jonah, Mason. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to my brotherhood at Gonzaga College High School. Coach Randy Trivers, where you at, big dog? Stand up. Hey, hey. hey, hey. You, had, <laughs> you had the courage to start a ninth grader in the toughest high school conference in the country. The Gonzaga experience, both on and off the field, helped me to prepare me in more ways than you can imagine. Coach, you may not know this, but the Gonzaga mantra that you drilled into us, meant for others, has helped inspire me to create the Caleb Karras Foundation, which is all about giving back. So thank you, Coach. Thank you, Gonzaga. It is important to surround yourself with good people and a team that you can trust. Special thanks to Mama Judy, Cody, and Phil. Now to my mentors, Coach Mark, Coach Russ, and Coach Basha. I appreciate you for always holding me accountable as the man and as a football player and always speaking the truth to me, even when I don't want to hear it. You taught me how to, play the, you taught me how to be a QB and not play the position of QB. You taught me how to look at myself in the mirror, and like the man that's looking back. And now, <clears throat> to the most important woman in my life, thank you for always being my mom first. The woman behind the scenes who has a smile on her face and is willing to help others. You're an inspiration to me in many ways. To the old man over there, my dad. <laughs> he always walks to the beat of his own drum. Thank you for showing me the way you instilled a work ethic in me at a young age that I can't thank you enough for. From the training sessions and the late night practices even open an athletic republic so my guys and I could go train. You're always there for me, making sacrifices in your life so I can achieve mine. My dreams, which eventually became our dreams. It may seem to go unnoticed and unappreciated, but you mean the world to me. We're in this together, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Now, to where my journey started, 
And it's not the four-year-old kid that loved just going out there and running and tackling somebody and scoring touchdowns. The journey really started when I was 10. And the season ended, and I had to turn my equipment in. And there's one thing that I vividly remember is telling my dad in the car right home that this is what I wanted to do for my career. I wanted to be a football player. I wanted to be a quarterback. I loved it. I loved everything about it. Fast forward a couple years later, I'm crying in a hotel room. And many of you have probably seen me cry after a loss. <laughs> my team and I just lost a national championship, and I didn't get the chance to play. My coach told me I was too small. That night, a fire ignited in me. That night, I decided to play quarterback and not only be playing quarterback, but to be the best quarterback. I wanted to impact the game. I wanted to share the ball with all my teammates. And if you know me and my dad, very plan base. We stayed up all night putting together a plan. And the journey slash plan went like this. 5.30 AM, breakfast club workouts. We also had 6.30 in the PM, lift, running, conditioning, getting bigger, stronger, and faster. We had nutritionists, sleep patterns, sports, sports psychologists, coaching experts, and learning and playing the game. The more I learned, the more I wanted. But the path hasn't always been easy. And this is me speaking to the 11-year-old out there who's watching right now, who was told you're too small, like they told me. Go out there. Show them how big your heart is. To the seventh grader who was passed over on the team like I was, use that adversity to ignite your passion like I did. To the ninth grader out there who no one believes can make varsity, you can if you believe. For the 10th grader losing in the, in the championship game but had belief that we were going to come back and win down 20 in the first half, Always believe that there's one more Hail Mary up your sleeve. And to the college freshman who was fighting for a chance to contribute and get on the field with your brothers, your time is coming. Keep going. And if you lose your bid to get into the, uh, the, the, college, the college playoffs, know that you'll get through it like I did and like I just learned. Back to work. The job isn't done. The early setbacks that I encountered lit a fire in me. It started my journey. Your journey will be your own. Just keep believing and keep pursuing your goals. If you're willing to put in the work and surround yourself with positive people, you can achieve anything. I used to write down my goals in a journal. And what used to just be words on a piece of paper has me standing here today. So everyone, dreams really do come true. Thank you, and fight on. Caleb, thank you for sharing your heart. Thank you for sharing this honor with so many. The entire old line is up. That is very cool. I've never yeah. seen that before. Yeah. That, that's a first. Thank you. Get to know your, uh, your new club members here. Yeah. Marty's got some details on the voting. Marty? Thank you. Chris, thank you so thank much. You. I just spoke with our great friends at Deloitte. Caleb Williams received 544 first place votes for an astounding 2,031 total points. And the Nissan fan vote goes to Tennessee quarterback Hendon Hooker, who had a tremendous season himself. Chris. The Trojans have an eight Heisman winner. That breaks the record. It was a four-way tie before that. Lincoln Riley has his third Heisman winner, as well as a runner-up, Jalen Hurts. Thank you for joining us on the Heisman Trophy evening here in New York City.